rich. All the fans see a nigga lit. Remember days I was spinning to quit. Lonely nights on the sips. Wartime weapon in the whip. On the block with it on my hip. Can't lie, I wasn't innocent. No, I can't lie, I wasn't innocent. Made it far, I stayed listening. Little nigga with discipline, them bullets went whistling. You gotta know how them tricks get. This bitch got a big old 50 clip. Mass and I got my pistol grip. Yeah, I still pop out though low, cause niggas be on pussy shit. Might be kids on the hit. Grow up, they keep witnesses. Ain't supposed to be no witnesses. But we ain't harming no women, kids. Less them hoes with the shit. Ain't say we won't kill a bitch. Snub seven, give them six. Just 11 in his zig, and I'ma do my shit with it. Way before G Herbo, it was Herbie G. Before the clocks, the pro mags had 33. Before the drip, the block heads had dirty sneaks. Before the grave, the main ops had surgery. A humble soul, baby, back again, back again. We checking in. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, man, make sure you hit the button ASAP. But let's get into it. Um, just got a little news update for everybody regarding this whole G Herbo situation. For those who don't know, you know G Herbo, um, an artist out of Chicago, pretty much man, one of the most talented and successful and influential artists coming out that city. You know what I'm saying? In recent years, he's um, man, he's caught up in a um, in a crazy situation right now. He's currently facing up to six years in the feds for his alleged involvement in, um, um, you know, this whole million dollar plus um, scam scamming ring that him and his people allegedly had going on earlier this month. You know what I'm saying? G Herbo, his manager, and um, I believe four other members of their entourage um, were all indicted, you know, for allegedly using stolen credit cards and identities. They found on a dark web to pay for different exotic services and pretty much just live lavish, you know, over the last four years. According to the case's indictment, G. Herpo and his people used stolen identities they found on a dark web to rent Bentleys and Maybox and other exotic cars, as well as splurge on limos, um, five star hotels, high priced pets trips on private jets and yachts um, to pay for security guards you know have you know private chefs you know whip them up different meals and just go on lavish vacations and um, right now they're saying G Herbo and his comrades scammed hundreds of victims you know not dozens but hundreds of victims um, both people and businesses and uh, the number that they're looking at right now is more than 1.5 million. But uh, for what I understand, this is an ongoing investigation. And, you know, truth be told, that number could increase, you know, as the weeks go by, especially um, when people start flapping their lips, you know, sharing new information. There's no telling, you know, how much that number is going to increase and who else is going to get pulled into this whole indictment. But, you know... That's neither here nor there. G Herbo in particular has been charged with one count of conspiracy to commit wire fraud and two counts of aiding and abetting aggravated identity theft. I guess due to the whole COVID thing and um, this indictment coming out of Massachusetts, he appeared in front of a Massachusetts federal judge via Zoom um, on December 9th. And he, uh, he pled not guilty to his charges. He also posted a $75,000 bond, from what I understand. You know, he's currently free, awaiting his trial. According to different reports, he's not allowed to travel outside the U.S. You know, had to forfeit his passport. He's also not allowed to sell any assets that he has that are worth more than $50,000. And he's banned from opening new lines of credit. Um, among other restrictions but yeah he's facing up to six years in the feds if he's convicted and it's um man it's just an unfortunate situation and, and horrible timing you know um because you know g herbo he's been somebody who's been on the rise for the past few years you know what i'm saying making his way up the ranks 
within Chicago's music scene, just, you know, becoming one of those artists that have been holding the torch, you know, in hip hop as a whole, you know what I'm saying, as far as like the new generation. He's undeniably, you know what I'm saying, it's, it's no, it's no, it's no question that he he's one of the top tier spitters. Man, I'm just hoping for the best in this situation, you know. Especially thinking about just how far he's come. Being this worldwide star. Somebody who's been able to, you know, create opportunities for other people in, in his circle and, and change people's lives, man, and impact people all across the world. Um, you know what I'm saying? And he's more than an artist, you know. Um, a 25 year old father and entrepreneur but you know just to keep it all the way real man it's about the, the decisions that you make we all got to be mindful of the choices that we make and um think about the risk versus the rewards you know and what we what we have to lose you know is it really worth you know if this is true you know taking different people's information to, to scam, you know, to, to pay for, you know, different exotic services and trips and, you know, stuff like that. When you you generate millions of dollars, you know, and you, you travel in the world, you know what I'm saying? You selling records. I don't really know, man, but um, I guess we'll just see how everything plays out all the time until. Shout out to everybody rocking with the channel. Until next time, I'm going to holler at y'all 100.